Hey, Brewers. I screwed up my last grain order. Uh, instead of ordering wheat malt, I ordered raw wheat. Um, so, figured won't miss an opportunity to try and learn something. So I'm going to uh, try and see the difference between a cereal mash and a gelatinisation only mash um, for wheat, and see which um, see which gives a better yield on um, on efficiency. So it's only a trial, but so uh, can you see the the mash? Oh, the, sorry, the crush, pretty fine, not powder, but. I think that'll be enough to gelatinize it anyway. So it'll be 100 grams for each sample. And I think that'll be enough to um, tell me whether which version gives me a better, better efficiency. There's 100 grams. That means there's 100 grams left in the tin. So we're going to um, just We'll do the cereal mash on the right. So the cereal mash goes through a series of stages. Um, I'm going to do let's do 500 mils of water per sample. Um, cereal mash goes through a series of stages. Um, a bit of time at 35 degrees or something like that. Anyway, I'll put the info on the on, in the captions. And then uh, 20 minutes there, and then 20 minutes at 55 degrees, and then uh, another, we'll do an hour at like a normal beer sacrification of about uh, 67 degrees, and we'll see what the efficiency is. As for the, um, the other one, I'm just going to do a gelatinization rest at 55, and then bring it to the boil slowly and then let it cool back down um, and then I'll see what the efficiency is on that so um, the purpose is that if I only need, need to gelatinize it uh, um, if I can get away with the cereal mash sorry it makes it a lot easier on brew day because it means I can just mix in my grains when I get to the sacrification rest whereas if I've got to cook it or gelatinize it first then boil it I'm gonna have to do that separately before I do the mash, before I mash in. So, anyway, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to do it. Oh, I meant to do 20 minutes at 40 degrees. So I'm a little bit over, but I'll take it off the heat now and put the lid on and leave it for 20 minutes. And this one needs to get to 55. Actually, wheat's pretty um, generous. It can be between 52 and 66 degrees, I think, uh, for 20 minutes or so. <coughs> I think that's pretty close. Uh, I'm just going to turn that right down to as low as this stove top will go. Um, keep an eye on the temperature. And I'll leave that for, oh, I'm going to say 30 minutes and see how it turns out. Um, and then I'll bring it to the boil as well, uh, steady boil. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've done 20 minutes at 40 or so degrees. I'm now bringing it up to uh, gelatinization temp or the wheat protein rest. At, so this, sorry, the first 40 degrees is a beta gluconase rest, which apparently makes the water less viscous. Um, which is ideal when you're dealing with this type of gummy stuff. Um, so anyway, going to bring it up to 55 now for another 20 minutes. Um, and we'll see how it looks then. As for this one, it's all, it's been 20 minutes at, it's um, 55 or so degrees. And uh, we'll bring it up to the boil after, after um, 30 minutes. Okay, we're at the gelatinization temp. I'll take it off the heat and put the lid on, and that'll be another 20 minutes. So there's 30 minutes on the um, gelatinization only um, wheat at 55 degrees. So now I'm going to 
slowly bring it to the boil and then cool it back down and then see what sort of efficiency we get out of it. Okay, we've got a gentle boil going. Don't want to run out of water so I'm going to keep the lid on. Okay, so this is the gelatinization uh, grain and so I just checked on um, Beer Smith and um, it said to boil for 20 to 30 minutes which is what I did with my rice, my raw rice when I did my rice lager. So I'll be boiling it for 20 to 30 minutes um, and then just seeing how it goes. Okay, the cereal mash has um, been there for about 25 minutes now uh, at 50 at the gelatinization rest and so now I'm just going to bump it up to mashing temp 67 and just let that sit for an hour so we'll see how that goes okay we're at mashing temp it's 68.9 um, but that is close enough to mashing temp if it was a beer that I was making it would be a full bodied beer um, but I'm just trying to see but it wouldn't stop you extracting any more sugars out um, they'd just be a different type of sugar but they'll still be measurable so anyway I'm going to leave it for an hour and uh, see how it goes so this is the um, gelatinization and then the boil uh, rest so according to beer smith should coat the back of the spoon and that definitely does so been boiling for a well, touch over 20 minutes now and it's a nice soupy mess so what I'm going to do though um, I'm going to treat it like I did with my my rice beer and so I'm going to add more water now and let it rest do a normal mash a 60 minute mash like I am doing with my cereal mash uh, and see how it goes in after an hour. So I'll get it to 67 or so again, and um, yeah, we'll uh, do. Then we can actually do a real side by side comparison. Okay, we're at the end of the 60 minute mash for both of them. See if I can get a sample. Only. Uh, gravity of 10, 10 out of that, but in saying that, I've got no idea of the water content because I added that uh, extra 250 mils of water to it. But if I get a better result with this, I'm just going to so I get a gravity of 10.21 with the um, cereal mash. So, uh, I might just make it easier on myself to, <clears throat> and remember that's with um, 500 mils of water, so that's not too bad in 100 grams of, um, 100 grams of wheat malt. Now that's 100 grams and that pot is half full. It's amazing how much water this thing will take, or this wheat will take. So. Anyway, I am going to do the cereal mash when it comes to with the raw wheat um, and it'll take a while but anyway we'll uh, we'll work it we'll work it out when it comes to it I'll make sure I use rice holes um, because uh, the, when I use the rice with the pilsner malt in my lager the um, rice malt uh, the the sparge was awful um, so I'll make sure I use some rice holes to make sure I can get a little bit of flow through the grain bed so anyway it was a pretty interesting experiment I'm glad I did it so yeah um, until next time happy brewing